We lived a lot of places. My father worked for uh, General Motors and was transferred around the southeast a good bit. My earliest real remembrance is uh, Gainesville, Georgia. We had a, it was just a modest home. I had to walk these huge distances to grandma school. Right after the depression, really, my father lost his job with General Motors. So times weren't good. Neither parent had any wealth, but dad was a hard worker and he had a used car lot and was a Packard dealer. And I think he'd sell one a year or something like that. Growing up, I mean, money was always a big challenge. The lack of it and the need for it and always struggling to pay the drugstore bill or whatever. My dad felt boys should work and I think probably kept me out of a lot of trouble. My older brother and myself worked every summer and then I would work during school time as well. I delivered newspapers before school. I even lifeguarded. I could eliminate every job I had as something I, I knew I did not want to do in the future. I was a good student. I went to uh, three years of pre-med at the uh, University of Georgia and, and became very clear that medicine was not my profession. The first sort of messy, bloody operation I was involved in, they had to help me out of the room. I, <laughs> not knowing what I was going to do, I took a business degree. I went in the Air Force. In Korea, I was uh, stationed at, at an air base just south of uh, Seoul. Sad to see the devastation, and it was uh, it was an eye-opening experience. I was transferred back to the U.S. I remember agonizing over what will I do to support myself, and so finally, so what well, business has got to be it? I, I, mean, I don't know anything else to do. And my father and I, we started a business just building a few houses. You don't have to be selfish and greedy and brutal to succeed. When hard times come and they come for everybody, it's critical that you have that respect and that trust from people having seen how you have behaved. And if you've stepped on people to get where you're going, you won't have many friends when the chips are down.